Being a child of the 60s growing up at Black History Month has now, it's been a, you know, a, a thing of remembering, you know, our past, but it doesn't have, uh, doesn't seem to have the relevance today that, that uh, uh, causes action, it causes us to uh, re really reflect on our recent past. The history of African Americans in the United States, is, you know, is, has a lot of turmoil to it. However, uh, you know, most importantly is the uh, 60s and 70s, the movement of civil rights, voting, voting rights, all those things are very important. I mean, and it only shows to be true with, uh, you know, the Obamas in the White House at this time. All of those kind of things are uh, really significant about, um, you know, the history of, uh, of the United States, especially at a time where I grew up. I was a, a kid right when segregation was kind of breaking up, uh, so I get to remember my mom uh, preparing us to go out to a restaurant where we were normally not invited and couldn't go. Um, I had really no idea the significance of it, but I do remember at home her, her teaching us how to use the knife properly and, and so that when we got there, we were already prepared. We already knew and, you know, how to look civilized and didn't pick our steaks up like chicken wings. <laughs> Which some kids still do. We can uh, probably make choices to make black history a little more uh, relevant to today's uh, country and the kids that live in it. And I'm from the state of Missouri. You just recently uh, seen the students there who protested against uh, the president of the university who felt like they felt like his stance on racial issues wasn't strong enough and uh, he recently resigned. And so I think that that's important. I think those, uh, that kind of effort, that kind of uh, uh, you know, sticking to your guns, believing in what you believe in, and then rallying uh, the people around you in a nonviolent manner uh, is important. Not saying that sometimes you ain't got to set stuff off, okay? Don't get me wrong. Also, always register to vote. I know that people don't think that it's important, but to be able to uh, have an opinion about who's in office and the policies that they set, uh, you can only do that by being a registered voter. So make sure that you uh, get out, get involved, and vote, encourage other people to vote, and, uh, you know, make sure your voice is heard.